welcome back to another video. It is November 11th. That is not true. It is November 12th. A Sunday, a very gloomy one at that, and I'm about to get to throwing some mugs for a very big commission that I'm really excited about. They're going to be gifts for all of the employees of a local coffee shop for the holidays and I know a lot of the people that work there and so it kind of feels like I'm just making gifts for my friends which I love and I kind of have free reign on what I want to do. They just have to be eight ounces big. I've already made a handful. Some of them have handles, some of them don't which is so great. <laughs> I don't have to worry about making 40 mugs that all have handles and I I think I have 10 made so I'm trying to make 40 like I just said and they're due on December 4th which is not that far away so I'm trying to like knock them out in groups of 10. I have a market on Saturday. I thankfully do not have to worry about loading the kiln and firing it this week because I just had a market last week actually just yesterday and I'm using the leftovers for that for this market. I sold like 30 things yesterday but I still have enough to fill a table for this coming week and that makes me very happy because I am so glad to not be loading the kiln right now and just be able to focus on these mugs and also finding some time to play a little too. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy another few days of my life of just making things and figuring out how to be a small business in 2023. So let's begin.
Hello, it is Tuesday, November 14th. So I have four days till the market and then like 20 something days till the mugs are due, which is what I'm working on today and what I've been working on all week really. And I think I'm just a little like nervous. I'm making them all like kind of different which is fun but now I'm realizing that like I need to make sure they're still all the same size and like they hold the same amount of liquid which I know for my clay if I throw something like three inches tall or three inches wide I'll get like an eight ounce vessel but since they're all different shapes now I'm just like oh god what if like the way that this one curves makes it like more I don't know so I feel like I'm like <laughs> ready to be over this because I've complicated it more than I need to. Even though I love all the shapes that I've come up with, I am now fearing that they're like, some of them are gonna be too small. But the good news is, is that I have other things that on my shelves that if these don't work out, I can just fill in with those because they, yeah, didn't need them they can literally be anything so they were definitely like if you already have stuff that fits into this category by all means toss it in the order so that's very reassuring I'm going to attempt to throw 14 things today so that way I can trim and handle everything tomorrow and Thursday and that will leave Friday for me to just like chill before my market on Saturday that's very ambitious very idealistic but like that is the goal <laughs> and so i'm going to push through it is only 8 25 in the morning so like i can throw a few things take a break throw a few more even though that's like not how my brain works i'm like i just want to do it all and get it done and then clean up once so off to do that now
Good morning. It is Saturday, November 18th, and I have a market today. So all I had to do was like repack the bins and put everything in the car, which is great. So I, it's only eight o'clock. I don't have to be there till 930 to start setting up. And then everybody needs to be ready by 11 a.m. It's from 11 to three. So I think I'm bringing about 40, maybe 50 pieces. And I feel like normally I end up bringing like 60, 70. So we'll see how it goes. It's not that long of a time. It is a little gloomy outside today, hoping that the sun will come out, but it's kind of nice because it's just like a little chillier <laughs> than it would be if the sun were out right now. So I will take that, but it has been a good week thus far, a very busy one. I think I threw like 50 pounds of clay, which is wild. I don't think I've ever done that before, but it felt good and it was just so nice to get into the flow and like know what I was doing every day and just be able to like check things off like so satisfying and also just fun to be able to make new things and try things out. That is my spiel <laughs> for right now. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you either at the market or post market depending on how wild it goes. It is just me. I have a couple friends coming to help me set up my tent because that thing is just so awkward to do by yourself. But then I'm flying solo. My husband is working, so we'll see how it goes. Hello, it is Sunday, day after the market. I am feeling okay. I was definitely in bed for a while, but it's so nice outside and the sun is finally out after not being here for like a week, which is not okay in my opinion. So I have like all the windows and doors open because it's magic. Yesterday was quite the day. I had lots of people come by during the day, which was very nice. And just to say, hey, and hang out for a minute or two which was great because it was actually kind of slow it wasn't kind of slow it was definitely slow um and i needed the friends <laughs> because i forgot a book so like i literally didn't have like anything to do while sitting there i did think of some like sticker ideas because i think i want to make stickers and i've started that process ten thousand times but stickers just feel like a really great pop-up idea because they're so easy and people can tack them on and I just love stickers too. But sales wise, which since I had my market last Saturday around the same time frame, my square tells me like the little comparison. Basically was so slow. I only made eight sales, about $400 total. And how many pieces did I sell? I sold 12 things which compared to last week, I did double, almost more than double the amount of sales and more than double the amount of money. But the sales this time, like the average of them, like people bought more expensive things this time. I had a lot of great interactions with people, which I guess is like the perk of selling in person. Just people that were like really invested in my process and like my style and just thought it was very unique and like they hadn't seen much stuff like that before and so they wanted to know more about it and I think that's just a major perk of popping up in person is that even if someone doesn't buy anything immediately like they've made a connection with you that will last like a long time so I feel like even the people that did buy things and we like connected and then the people that didn't buy things but we connected like I could see those turning into like future like sales or just like followers or just people along for the ride really which I'm grateful for and I really did enjoy talking to people and just learning more about other people who make stuff in my city. I just love meeting other creative people even if they don't like do what I do. It's just like nice to hear how long other people have been doing like what got them to this point and what they're trying to get into now. So what I'm going to get into now is finishing some ornaments that I started on Friday. Maybe just like jot down more ideas of things that I want to make for my December markets and then 
photograph and make quick little videos of the pieces that I'm going to put online because I at least wanted to have something up for Small Business Saturday and maybe do like a little sale on some pieces that I've just like had for a while. So definitely got a lot on the to-do list today. I'm going to go make things now and you will see that process. Mm -hmm.